Now, 10 so-called everyday Australians have been selected to accompany the Prime Minister and Governor-General to the Queen's funeral next Monday. In truth, they're perhaps, perhaps less famous Aussies, but they're terrific achievers, including horse trainer Chris Waller, Australian of the Year Dylan Olcock, and my next guest, Val Dempsey, the Senior Australian of the Year. I caught up with Val, you might remember, in June. She's a remarkable woman who's dedicated five years, uh, five decades, I should say, of her life as a volunteer with St John Ambulance. And she was lucky enough to participate in a Zoom meeting with the Queen, raising her idea about drivers undertaking compulsory first aid courses. Have a look. Whenever I drive around, um, around where I live here in Canberra, all I can see is other drivers and they're all potential first aiders. I don't see mothers and fathers, I see first aiders. <laughs> <laughs> and so it would be really a wonderful thing if we could inspire all peoples to be able to learn first aid. It sounds a very sensible idea too, because obviously it, it does help enormously if one does know something about first aid. A royal endorsement there for Val Dempsey's idea. She joins me now from Canberra. Thanks for joining us, uh, Val. It must be a sad time for you <laughs> having that personal connection uh, with Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, and you must be absolutely rapt that you can go and not only pay your personal respects at the funeral, but represent Australia. Well, good afternoon, Mr Kenny. Just watching that clip took me right back to that magical moment where I had an absolute privilege to be able to speak with Her Majesty. And it brings a wealth of comfort to me knowing that I'm now able to go and say goodbye in person. What an absolute honour, not just for me, but for my family, my grandchildren, my fellow family, which is St John Ambulance right the way across Australia, and for all Australians. So you will all be in my heart as I go there representing Australia. What an absolutely humbling moment. You talk about St John's, which obviously has a connection to the UK and to the royals and uh, <clears throat> your own direct connection there to Queen Elizabeth II. What did her life mean to you? How do you feel about her passing? Well, we, we really expected for her to pass, as all people do, but it came as that moment when not only did she pass away, but she passed away within 24 hours of still delivering that amazing service before self. And that is just a reflection of her whole life of dedication. It has been really quite an inspiring life for people who do step out and provide service to others. And for myself, she has been my absolute role model and... I shall miss her dreadfully. Indeed. And is there anything special you'll be thinking or saying or doing when you're at the funeral? <clears throat> well, I haven't preempted anything because, to be very honest, Mr Kenny, I've had a very short time to come to terms with the fact that I'm actually going. Indeed, yeah. um, I, you know, you close your eyes and you think about it for a moment and you really can't picture... So you can't really picture yourself in that moment... But I do know that when I get there, I will be in that moment. I won't be anywhere else with my mind wandering or with other things intruding. It will really be that very personal moment where I'm hoping that I do my fellow Australians proud by being that person that represents them there. So my mind is focused completely on being able to be a part of that for everybody. Well, it's a fantastic honour and you've already done Australians proud and you'll be flying uh, with others on the Royal Australian Air Force uh, VIP jet leading from Sydney. Here's the Prime Minister talking about that today. Her Majesty had a direct input into the decision uh, by the Palace uh, to ask that these 10 people uh, be invited to be representative uh, on... Short notice, uh, we have put together and confirmed uh, that uh, all of these people will be able to travel. Uh, they will be uh, on uh, the same uh, plane as me that will leave uh, from Sydney on Thursday evening. 
It'll be a long flight, Val. The Prime Minister and the Governor-General will be on board and some protocol officials and another 10 great Australians. It's going to be a wonderful journey in its own right. Uh, uh, you must be excited. And I'm hoping we might be able to talk to you from London later in the week. Well, perhaps that will be really wonderful to do that. I was thinking I might take a deck of cards and I could fleece them of all their British pounds while we're on the flight over there because, you know, it is going to be a long flight and I do think that one does need to have a, a moment of fun in amongst all of this, not to be ungracious, of course. Absolutely. Take those cards and fleece those pounds, Val. And don't call me Mr Kenny. That only happens when I'm in trouble. Thanks so much for joining us. You'll do Australia <laughs> proud. And I hope you have a wonderful, sombre, of course, at times, but I hope you have a wonderful trip. Well, bless you, sir. And um, without that moment was not meant to be irreverent in any way, but I will have you in my hearts as I go. Thank you. Thanks so much.